Okay, hello. Uh, I am Sal Granger in the Magnetic Advances Department at LTech. Um, we are here today to discuss the Z25 technology and possibly selling over to our division from audio components. Um, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself and then we could go into some of the the issues that we want to negotiate, some of the finer points of the of the deal, and then we could see go from there. Okay, I am Chris. I'm Chris um, Carlson. I'm also I'm the president of the Auto Component Department. Okay, um, so just to start off here, I'll just go into to some of the issues that I thought would be um, you know relevant to this topic to this deal. Um, I think you know the transfer price for t taking over the Z25 technology from from your uh, department is one of the finer points. The price for um, you guys to use, should we, for us to sell back to you guys to use the, the technology, should a sale be complete? Um, if there are any reservations that you have from your side. And then I think the, the last issue is really just making sure, um, you know, we don't want to bring this to top management because no matter how you look at it, they're going to look at us as less effective managers than we are. They're going to view us a little bit more ineffective um, than we'd like. So I guess, I guess, um, were there any other issues that you wanted to, to throw in here that maybe I didn't mention? Um, the issues that I will be looking at, um, we would like to keep have the rights to keep the rights to the Z25. Um, or also our issue, we um I'm fully aware that we can only um sell internal. Mm -hmm. We can't um sell external. So I was trying to figure out a way how can we protect this from our competitors? So because if once you get over to our competitors, there's a chance that we could lose making a certain amount of profit. Um, our department do not want to lose profit and we'll love to have some come to some form of agreement where if we, you know, if it's transferred over to your department, we'll still have some profit coming in to our department also and have some form of right. So we're trying to see what's the best thing for us. Um so yeah no and i think i think that's completely understandable with the competitors um i understand you want to keep it in because that way you want to keep it within your department because that way you know you guys are making the profits um i think especially in the the eyes of top management i think selling it to um magnetic advances is in the best interest of the company as a whole so if we could find some scenario where you guys are happy with the deal we're still making the profits you're making profits off of what we're doing and it's a win-win for everybody and i think the managers especially will be very happy um if we come to to a situation like that so i know you said the 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 competitors um is one of the competitors in your profits are the two biggest issues for you so if we were to say you know for the transfer price you know, I know you guys spent around $12 million researching and developing this technology. So if we did the transfer price for $12 million to get back your, you know, what recuperate what you put into this technology, and then we will withhold sale to do your direct competitors for six months this way. I mean, the, the technology only has a life uh, really of two years. Yes. So six months you know a quarter of the of the entire lifespan should should be enough i believe to you know give you guys a good leg up on the competitors while still allowing us to make profit you'll get your money back and you'll make more profit than your competitors okay um so for the target points that i am looking for for our department um, we want to see if we could, as you mentioned, the twelve million to cover the twelve million dollars. Um, still try to recuperate. I guess we, I think we will be making like five million within additional five million within um the two years, and also 
we would like to keep our partnership of still having some rights to the product so we could earn um, a profit while we go. Um, if we're going to do like a, say, an even split, um, what would you be looking for? Like what would the offer of your pricing? Well, if we're doing an I mean, an even split of the profits, that's that's a that's a extremely large chunk. Um, and there I mean, just thinking off the top of my head, if that that I'd we'd have to do like, you know, maybe zero transfer price with that just because the amount of profits we're giving up. Um, so I would say if we could, uh, I'll go back to my offer. You said you make five million over the two years and in your internal profits. There's the 12 million, um, so that's 17 million for, you know, we could say that's the transfer price. Then six months of no competitors. And then I will say also, so the pre in previous business that we've been doing interdepartmentally, um, we've been selling about $7 million worth of magnetic devices to you. Okay. So what if I were, that's per year. Um, so what if I were to waive over the two years of the life any any um, price that we would we had used to charge you for for any magnetic devices? So you would get to keep using the Z25 technology over those two two years. That's uh you know another fourteen million dollars. So that's you know where is that? 31 31 million dollar transfer price yeah and this is this is with the the six months of withholding from your competitors okay. so this way you guys make uh with the with the 12 million then you're making 20 a little over 20 million more so it's kind of almost as if you were selling internally for for four years and, or no for for more if you were going to make five over the two years then you know it's almost like you were selling internally for eight years. So, um, 30 million. Okay. So my target point, like I have three different numbers that I'm currently looking at for, um, my target point, um, which includes, um, I would love to start out if we do an even split, that's what I would love to do. As of right now, an even split, and uh, I was looking at the target point for fifty-two point five million. Okay, um, you know, fifty-two point five with that's that's total. That's you know, say waiving the transfer price and fifty-two point five million. Mm -hmm. So no transfer price. So it's essentially like it's a 52 million transfer price yeah. with, the, with the six months withholding. Yes. So I just want to see you one sec, look at our forecasts. Hmm. I'm just thinking that's because that's plus 40 million after the 12 million you recuper recuperate. So compared to the 5 million you would have been making, that's, that's you know, that's a pretty large, say times as much. Um, if we were to do this, is there any way we could, if not, uh, lower the, lower the withholding from direct competitors so we can bump up the profits a little bit more and keep the 52 million or keep the six months and possibly lower the 52 million. Yeah, what was the first the first option? So to to take away or lower the the six months withholding to direct competitors because the more the more we withhold the less the profits will be. Yeah. So we could keep the maybe keep the 52 transfer or the 52 profit share and then take away the six months. Hmm. So one of our one of our um, 
main issue that we wanted to hold off from exposing it to our competitors for a period of time, correct? So um, if we do, if we do, okay, can we do 55 and million and then we could go ahead with the cancel out the six months? And cancel out the six months. Yeah. just trying to look at our forecasts and see what the what the what the trade-off is for doing 12 months because we have our forecasters they they take all these scenarios so we could see and it looks like this is this would be around the same as if we were to withhold from for 12 months with zero profit <laughs> Is there any way, do you think we could knock that down? I think if we got it to 50, or leave it back at, no, I don't want to say 52 again. I feel like that's going backwards. Um, if we could lower the 55, just to split that in half between the 52 and the 55, say 53.5. With the, with the zero withholding. Or could we do fifty three point five with the with the with six months withholding? Would that work? Well, the six month lowers the profitability um, by by a good amount. So it's kind of like we're trading off. It lowers it by about ten million dollars. So it's like we're trading a million one point five million for ten million almost. Which okay. So so we're looking at fifty three point five million. Um, we do away with the six month withholding. And that's for an even split, which will include us still getting profit. We'll you will get, you'll get the 53.5 million. Okay. Do, will we still have some form of rights to this product or no? Well, no, because this would be selling it over to, to Magnetic Advances. And you would get the 53.5. So that's, that's, you get the 12 million. You know, back okay. that you of research and development, and that's another you know forty one and a half forty one and a half million dollars worth of profits that you guys get, which compared to the five million, you know that you would have gotten over the two years. I mean, it's it's eight times, so that's like sixteen years of selling it internally, is the type of profits you're getting back with that fifty three and a half. And we're not we can go to the fifty five. The fifty five. If we go to the 55, zero, zero months withholding. And then that leaves us there. You know, look at, I think, I think we can do, can do that. As long as we agree that it's, it's the, the 55 million. We have the rights to the product. That's the profit that you guys get. We'll pay. We could call it a transfer price, but it's really coming out of the profits anyway. Okay, so we want to do. So you're saying we could do the 55 million, but us giving up all rights to the product mm -hmm. and zero withholding. Right. Mm -hmm. And this way, you're making. Like I said, it's like you're selling for. Yeah you know, 16 years internally with the, with the technology. Okay. We could go ahead with the 55 million, giving up our rights to the product and zero withholding. I'm okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. That's great then. Then we could do that as well. And I think that works out as a win-win for both departments. You guys get your profits, we get our profits and the rights to the technology. And I think top management um, will be very pleased with what we've done. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.